happy motherfucking Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. All right, man. Are we ready to do this reveal? I think we are. Whenever, if you want to do like a little quick countdown so we don't keep everybody waiting. All right. In three, two, and one. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Dude, Queens you're fucking... <laughs> Your fucking vision? Yes, sir. What is that's fucking what awesome? Is grief dude. Without love persevering. That What's is up, funny. Man? Dude, Wayne's dude, you look great. So right? do you, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Like you guys went, you went like balls out, dude. Like, yeah. That's it, really cool, dude. dude. Let me let me tell you. Frenchie went fucking hard, bro. Like hard in the paint, dude. That yeah, looks badass, dude. That yeah, you know, really there, cool. there was a and you know, I got you know, I definitely got the plaid shirt going with the WandaVision look. Dude, right. I, I, you know, a true artist, you know, a, a true artist is, a, a, what do they say? You're, you're, you're your own worst critic. And, you know, she was like, you know, she was working so hard on it. And, you know, obviously it was the the, the frustrations that, you know, that, that the true artist would have. And, you know, she got it right. done. She came up with this great idea. She was just like, I got it. Boom. Cool. And, he, and here I am. Here this I am. Actually, actually, the whole reason uh, I ended up being Wayne obviously from wayne's world is because of my because of my girlfriend actually we were talking uh last weekend uh when i was in kansas city and trying to figure out like what we were gonna do or what I, what i was gonna do and she kind of came up with it and i was like you know what that's not a bad that's not a bad idea that wouldn't be very hard to for me to pull off so so party so, on excellent so, so like <laughs> did you make the hat nikki nikki printed nikki printed the wayne's world logo and is that it, your kansas city hat yeah she, and all she all she did is just tie this she kind of just tied this onto my hat and then i can wear it like this and then that's it dude that is it so yeah you know it was actually funny because ronnie j put that you know i had put a post he was just like you're going to be professor x oh like, right right like, you're yeah. close but you know oh, not quite yeah dude are you 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 look good so, dude, dude are you, like you actually got like a really cool Wayne's World look going? I have, I, I mean, it wasn't. I mean, all I had to do was get the wig. I mean, it really didn't. It, you know, and, and my 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 girlfriend printed this off the internet for me and slapped it on my hat. Like, it's not exactly, you know, your dude, you your your vision. Like, you are actually. Speaking of which, I started Loki yesterday. I finally started watching that. So, so that was interesting. So, are you muted? I think you're muted, John. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, because today I'm not wearing headphones for the obvious reason. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, right. You, um, dude, you look, you, dude, you look, you look freaking fantastic. Like that's, I, that's, and, that's a much more in depth look. That's a much more in depth look than a normal, I guess, atypical Halloween costume. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, this is this, this is, is not what you go. I go hard. Yeah, I was gonna say you didn't, you didn't fucking, you didn't go to fucking the Halloween store for that look. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, and I, you know, I, I had to get the WandaVision look, man. Um, hey, and you right. know, we, I, I think it's safe to say we have a big announcement to make, guys. Absolutely. Um, we, we have hired an executive producer. There we go. Um, there we go. You know, he, he's, he's hanging out in the booth, just sitting there. So, you know, if you want to yep. say hi. Yep. Mr. Hey, Paul. how's it going? His, yeah, this, this is, uh, this is our, this is our good buddy, Joe. And Joe is going to now be our, our, uh, our our new producer basically he's gonna help us out behind the scenes uh when we're kind of doing doing our shows and doing our thing and and joe we really appreciate having you on thank you very very much for for assisting us in our in our journey so so yeah thank you joe very much absolutely yeah it's absolutely it's 100 percent my pleasure to uh be part of the team and and help you guys out here and, and get the show you know into a bigger place you know I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And since it's, it's always good to, it's always good to meet friends of friends. And I, I know uh, for a little bit of background on Joe, uh, him and John actually served in the, in the same um, outfit together down at Fort Benning. So I guess they were, they were kind of in the same battalion and, um, and uh, yeah, we, uh, that's how they, that's how they know each other. And now all three of us know each other and we're going to keep rocking and rolling here. At DD two fourteen gaming party time. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and you know, let me tell you, I got a lot to talk about, man. Um, I, I first off, I need to start off. Okay. I finished Dark. You finished? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. You know, someone Ooh. told some someone told me. Uh huh. 
uh some some someone told me that um that it was not a definitive ending like you said it was a complete opposite of of what you said and they said that we need more seasons that more needs to be explained to that gentleman you're an idiot yeah because the way that the show ended it didn't make me feel it needed anymore doesn't need anything it literally doesn't need you know, any fucking thing that's that's part of this was the the pen ultimate decision and choice that they made to make a perfect show mm -hmm. it's the first time i watched a show that has a true happy ending and still a true, a true legitimate happy ending that ain't fucking like cheap as fuck yeah and and, and, like, you know, if, and the the show was dark like dark we're talking fuck. like dark as like, fuck that's like, like that's why when I, well, the first time I watched it, John, I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember the last time I had seen a show with a happy ending. I didn't even want to tell you that it had a happy ending. I just wanted to yeah. tell you. That, I just, I just wanted to tell you that it had a definitive ending. Like, but the definitive ending in that show is, in fact, a happy ending. And it yeah. had been so long since I had seen a fucking happy ending in a goddamn show. It almost felt like a new, a new show again. You know. Yeah, and. Oh, we got you know, and, and but you know what? That's what the third season did. The third season rebooted mm -hmm. itself. Like it, it was like okay. So we have the first two seasons, which really built upon the found the foundation of the characters, and then the third season came in and it completely it it threw a curveball at you, and you're just like, okay, well, what are we gonna do here? Right. So now with 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 everything <laughs> going on in the third season, you're thinking, well, shit. Yeah. You know, for first, you know, the first thought was okay. Now I see why they canceled it. And then the second thought was, oh, maybe it wasn't canceled. Maybe this was just a decision that they made because maybe this was their intention. Make it a, like, just make tell a story. Yeah, I think and I and I really think that's pretty much what it was. Like it's first season, first season, you have like no fucking clue what, like really what's going on. You kind of start getting the gist of it towards the end. You're already hooked at this point, obviously, too. You're already hooked into the fucking TV show. So good yeah. luck. Good luck not watching it. Good luck giving up on it, right? Season two comes. So you've kind of got you start, you're kind of starting to figure stuff out. You're you're trying to put stuff together in your head. And then, like you said, end of season two, curveball. Now it's season yeah. three. Now it's season three, and you're like, okay, what the actual fuck is going on? And yeah, by because the time, that by, season by, three, it really felt like shit was just being thrown around. That's right. what it really felt like. And then but 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 by the time they get to the the you know the, the series finale at the end. They've, they've 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 tied up every loose end and they've and they've answered pretty much every question and then you get to watch that last episode and just be like holy shit yeah holy it was shit. like it was it was satisfying it was beautiful every and you know you see some of these characters and you're just like you know like damn and you still don't know what happened to the guy with the eye because it, the story gets interrupted right at the end of the show Right. So you never find out what the fuck happened to his eye, which is probably the big mystery. And, and if there is a season four, that's what the season four needs to be about. What the fuck happened to his fucking to the, eye? To the dude's eye. That's hilarious. You know, but great show, great cast. Um, one thing that I thought that was really amazing about the show is how the counterparts of each character, they look like each other. Well, they kind of have to, don't they? Yeah, you know, but it's just like, I mean, you know, you... Like, We're not like gonna, nickel. I don't want to. I don't want to give away anything, and you know the plot. Lines, yeah, yeah. Plot lines of the show, but I mean, like they, they kind of have to, don't they? Yeah, they, like, they, 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 they do such. They do a really good job with it. Like it, I was truly, I was it, truly impressed with the show. So it was different. It wasn't. It wasn't just a sci-fi. It wasn't just a science fiction. It wasn't just a drama. It wasn't just a romance. You know, it wasn't. It didn't just have some dark humor. It kind of threw. It kind of threw everything in there. And and there's also there's also some incestual tones in oh, there all too. Oh, kinds of shit going. On. There's all that 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 that's the the. There's so many layers to unravel in that. There's so many yeah. layers to unravel in that TV but, show. But that's but know? that's the one thing that really, you know. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Spoiler alert. But if the one character, so the one character was the nephew of the other character, and he was in love with his aunt. Correct, but if they're in a not to exist in a, in a different uh, era, though, like yeah, so it you like know, so it, it's very convoluted. It's very convoluted how that even occurred in the first place. So it's yeah, like, and it really goes to show that this specific set of people were never to exist, 
Right. And that's where the in, the incestual tones come in because right. they're all going back in time. What are you doing? With in my, what are you doing in my timeline, nephew? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, 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 nephew, hey, hey, nephew, I'm stuck underneath the bed. Can you help get me out? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I may or may not have you know, viewed a couple of adult films in my in my day, possibly recently. I don't, I, I don't, I don't watch porn. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I, dude, like it, it was very, very weird. But I give it a ten, a ten rating. I give it a oh, number crap. ten. I give I, it a number get, ten. You've been, dude. You kind of been, you kind of been giving out tens, tens a little bit, uh, kind of, kind of a lot. Like in, even, but, but you know what? I'm not going to say anything about your rating though, because like we, we got Nikki Larson in here saying it's a complete three generation mind fuck, basically. Yeah, yeah. Give, give it. Give, you know, don't give me. Do, do, do not make a sequel. Do not make a reboot. No. I mean, if, you know, we don't need a comic book for this. We don't need a spinoff for this. No, nope, it it's was. Done. It was good perfect yeah perfect it, so jay i appreciate you showing me that, that i'm glad i'm glad you i'm glad you watched it you watched it quick you watched it quick i started last friday i started and, last friday and i ended it last night so that's, so in, that's pretty, so in, in just in just over in just over a week in just over a week you made it through three seasons basically yeah holy crap um, in other tv news why the last man Yurik has still not gotten laid yet oh dude fuck this show i see i would have quit <laughs> what the fuck? like come on yeah this, dude, and, like, and this, this the one the one dude the one dude in it live you know in a sea of women you know and he's the only dude left in the world and he can't get laid like what episode are you on we're on episode nine now oh fuck that Fuck that! I'd have been I'd have been laid fucking ten seconds into episode one. There's no fucking way. There's now, no fucking way. Now we do have we do have what is um, what is so comp what is so complicated in this fucking world this dude exists in that what that one male inhabiting Earth with the rest females can't get fucking laid. Like what is the yeah. problem? What what is, no, what is going no, on here? No, what is going on? Now we do suspect that he was sexually harassed by one character okay i mean shoot if i'm the only dude left in the world and it's like me and 3.5 billion women like and i get sexually harassed it's kind of going to be like oh no you know what i mean at that point right like i'm just i'm just kidding that was a joke i'm not i'm not yeah I'm, yeah I'm, yeah i don't think sexual harassment is cool everybody it was you know it was a joke okay yeah. so listen so what, the, 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 what, what's going on does this dude not jerk off is he a eunuch did you, he get his you know, but here's the thing but, like, but this is you know yeah you know obviously we don't jerk I, we don't jerk off no we don't <laughs> joke about things like that but the way you know we i think we it, we can safely say that when we watch these shows we could find a kind of funny interpretation to some of these things like one man left in the world and, and can't this, get yeah and he's naked in the bed waking up to a woman so, ah. I mean, you're trying, you're really trying to, you know, find out like, did, did she do this? Is this like, you know, because not only this, she's part of a, of a cult of, of, oh, sweet. of men haters, which oh, the nice. whole, the whole cult revolves around hating men. That's what's up. I can yeah, get down so with that. It's I a very interesting aspect. I, I, I honestly can't blame that cult for existing. I mean, men, men have traditionally kind of created a lot of the problems in history. So yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like I can kind of get down with that cult a little bit. A little bit of self hate going on over here today, this morning on Halloween. You know, yeah, like, yeah. A little hey, bit you of self hate. You know, listen, it's okay. Listen, the demons come out to play this weekend, bro. Oh, okay? they fucking. Oh, they sure and, shit did. Oh, and also, we also, I well, our thirty first episode is on oh, the thirty first yeah. of October, it Halloween. Is. It's it's happening. It like is. this, it's this is insane. This is insane. Um, let's see. Um, ah, we have a movie trailer. We have a, we movie, have a trailer. movie trailer here. Yep, we're gonna check this out. I, uh, um, producer, oh, hit hit that hit that full screen on that. John, we got a got a comment from Campbell Graham saying you got some nice makeup there, bud. Campbell. Yeah. Campbell, yeah. what's up, man? Thank you. Hey, French, like you, his, made, French, you turned me into vision. Um, I like his name. Big, 
big shout big shout out to campbell graham oh that's right because you're jay campbell Cam so campbell is my oldest gaming friend we've been playing for a, a quarter awesome. of, of of a century that's bad you know, I, 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 you know, I played with him before I went to the army, during, after. Cool. Beautiful family. You know, we, you know, we, we got to, we, we're, we got to bring him into the round table for UK gaming. So 14 years, 14 years. There you go. That's awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, we have here a, we have here a trailer for you. Um, now the reason why I'm showing this trailer is because. Buzz Lightyear is a space ranger. Okay. So is this what we're are we gonna watch the Buzz Lightyear thing? Is that what we're gonna watch? Yes. Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nay, nay. Hit that play button. Uh oh. Oh, hold up. There we hey. go. Do we have Wait a, a do we have a connection the issue there for a second? Yeah, hang on. Cut cut the feed. Cut the cut the feed. There we go. So we're gonna watch the, the Buzz Lightyear. Is that what it is? Yeah. So um, now, again, I think you know some people may find a way. Why are we covering the Buzz the Buzz Lightyear movie? But uh -huh. I'll tell. But I'll tell you why. Covering Buzz Lightyear because one, we grew up with Toy Story. Two, Buzz Lightyear is a space ranger, and this movie is about the space rangers. Right. Space rangers, space force, military. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know, also, so, I, I do have to. I do have to slightly correct you. Um, although I was very familiar with the the Toy Story movies, I did I did not unfortunately get the chance to grow up with them. I was already a teenager when they came out, so um, I didn't exactly grow up with Toy Story the way mm. a lot of a lot of a lot of you young fucks did. You know, so a difference of di difference of difference of ten years is not is not much, but it's it, it makes all the difference in the world when you're growing up, right? Like, so no, it, it is it is. It's it's drastically like okay. So I mean, even two years. You guys, you guys did. You guys did grow up with those movies. You know. Yeah, and I like, yeah, I cer I certainly did. And like, well, actually, Toy Story was one of probably one of the best movies. One of the best movies I ever watched when I was a kid. Um, oh yeah. So I have and they're, the and they're, and they're good trailer. movies. Yeah, I actually, I, I sorry, sorry to the producer, I haven't. Have you seen this, Jay? No, I have not. I've seen a couple of memes. I've seen a couple of memes like poking poking okay. at it, but I haven't, so seen, to, I haven't seen the actual trailer. No. So to give some context into this, um, the movie takes place in the story in the in the canon world of Toy Story. Okay. But this is Andy going to the movie theater to watch Lightyear, which produces the toys. Okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. Let's check. Let's check it out. Um, I fucked up again. My fucking god. <laughs> God's not gonna help you, dude. No. Like, All God's right. not. God's not coming in. For yeah, there's some things I completely because this was a last minute thing. But here we go. Infinity. 
Thoughts? Um, that did nothing for me. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Like, again, like, I let me prep. Let me let me preface this. I did not grow up with the Toy Story movies. I was already a fucking jaded ass teenager, fucking probably doing way too much extracurricular activities after school, and I should have been anyways when Toy Story first was coming out to begin with. So I. It, it just, I, it's a, it, there was a generational skip there. So, you know, um, and I don't really, I don't know. It's, I'm trying to find a nice way to say, I just don't give a fuck. And I can't really think of a nice way to say that. So I just say, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm now, like, what if they made you know? a Buzz Lightyear live action movie that was as fucking cool as that? I'd be, I, w I would also be skipping that movie <laughs> probably like if <laughs> i'm such a dick i'm sorry like no like no listen toy story, toy story was one of the original computer generated you know animated movies back in the day and it, it said it set a new precedence it set a new standard obviously a historical film of note as far as animated films are concerned it's sequels two and three kind of closed out the uh closed out the storyline for the the uh generation of children that grew up with it um, even even going by their ages, you know what I mean. It kind of like you kind of grew up with Andy, from from my understanding. If you were if you were around Andy's age, yeah. if you're around Andy's age when the first Toy Story came out, by the time the third <laughs> Toy Story came out, they had kind of like aged it sequentially, you know, going off of that, which is cool. Yeah, um, and and you know they did they did yeah. like like um. This is just another movie that I that I won't see probably because I'm just too old and never watched those movies growing up. So what what. Are, John, what are your thoughts? Because I'm just a gated asshole. So, what are your thoughts? Like, so I'm, I, I was, I grew up with Toy Story. All right. Know? But okay. the most interesting character to me was Buzz Lightyear. And it's really cool. Our producer says, remember, they made the cartoon for Saturday mornings. And the cartoon, the Saturday morning cartoon was great because it really dove into the lore of the Space Ranger. See, yep. Yeah. And there, there it is. Go. Yep. And see, and you and see, and you having grown up with this, this would this would punch you a lot harder in the subconscious than it does me at yeah. all. You so, know what I mean? Be because you whole, grew up with it. Yep. And the whole like I, I just always wanted to know the story of who Buzz Lightyear was. What what was right. he? What you know, was was he in the military? Was he mm -hmm. just a regular astronaut? But when okay. you, you learn more and more, we figure out, like, hey, you know, the, he's a space fucking ranger. Space fucking ranger. I got, I got VIP passes. So I just want to let you know. <laughs> what is, what is swag without drip? Persevering. <laughs> <laughs> so, so continue. So, 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 tell me more. So, uh, so yeah. So we have growing up with Toy Story. You've got a Saturday morning cartoon to go along with it. Now you're freaking. Excuse me. You're hitting your thirties. They're coming out with this. New generation Buzz Lightyear movie. What the fuck is it supposed to be about? Is it just more backstory or is it like a, a completely so, new spinoff? So like from what I understand, it's a backstory. But this is the movie that Andy watched that got him into Buzz Lightyear. Like this is boy, like I hope they don't miss. Boy, I hope they don't miss. Yeah, because if because if they're doing something within, they're doing a story within the story, and it has right. to work. It has to work. Well, or 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 you're gonna have an entire generation of children from this generation questioning the entire backstory of toy story because of this movie yeah if it if, if, if it misses right yep and uh being told here it's chris evans as, as buzz lightyear hey can you pick up can you see if there's any anyone else that's big on that cast too so wait there's no so tim allen tim allen is not voicing buzz buzz lightyear anymore no tim allen is not buzz lightyear because tim allen was the toy okay Big difference. Uh, Campbell, so, do you not think that the characters of most of these new Disney films look like action man dolls? I mean, that's dude. I I mean, I grew up on I grew up on freaking Lady Lady and the Tramp and freaking Dumbo and when a yeah. lot of the like like I said earlier, a lot of the um when a lot of the the, the newer kids movies started coming out and they became they were more computer generated animation. Um, I missed that boat almost entirely because I was already a teenager and hanging out and, you know, I was not interested in watching movies a lot, you know, like, like kids movies basically anymore at that time. Yeah. And, and there, like, you know, there's you know, some, there, there's some stories 
some kid stories that I still attach myself to. Like uh, my favorite one is um, the Sword in the Stone. Yeah, good one. You know? That's a good one. Well, and 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 and, and that's and that's not to say that I don't watch these movies now because obviously I've since you got I, the kids. I, I have kids now, and I and so I've I've gone back and I've seen some of these movies that I missed a long time ago, and they are and a lot of these movies are really really good and they do like they really. They hit you right. They hit you right in the heart. You know what I mean? Like it's a kids movie, right? That's what they're pretty much designed to do. And Toy, Toy Story is a good story. It's a it's a good storyline. I love the uh, what was it number three when like they're in that fucking incinerator and like they're all gonna fuck yeah up. yeah gonna, and then and then they came out with the die. fourth one right after that yeah like they're all gonna fucking die and they're like holding each other's hands and shit and like and, and, and you're and you're sitting there with like the single man tear coming down just like you know like, was, trying, to, trying to hold no. it. That was a real scene. Like, dude, that, that was, was real fucking shit. Fucking dark. But that was, dude, that was dark, dark as fuck. Dude, that was, yeah. So, it, so fuck. it's when it's made by Angus McLean. When you just accept that you're gonna die. When you just accept you're gonna die. You know what I mean? Like, and you just hold hold hands. You know, like that's that was dark as fuck. Like, but yeah, I've seen a lot of those movies since my kids have come along. Obviously, and some of them are very very good. Is it good enough to go see the the, the new Lightyear movie? I guess I'm going to have to ask my kids because I'm probably going to watch it one way or the other. You know, this might be one of those, uh, one of those days I go to the, I go to the, I go to the, uh, the movie theater with uh, a couple of shooters, you know, strategically yeah. located inside my jacket pocket and yep. get a, get a, get a lot, get a large Dr. Pepper and pour a couple of shooters into it, you know, and just sit yep, there. There you just, go. Kind of sit there and just catch a, catch a slow buzz, you know, like while watching a kid's movie. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know. So Yeah. 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 So I think I think, just, I think Cam I think Campbell's making reference to like some of the old school like action figure dolls. You know, like like you remember like you remember like Toys R Us. You know, like you, you remember you remember Toys R Us. That of uh, course. Yeah, you know, it's like some some of the more generic, you know, action figures for 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 boys. You know, and in Toys R Us would be like those like like Campbell said, it's square head and big eyes. You know, like when they when they make them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and and Ben Davis, I would thank you so much. Um, hey, Ben, Ben, uh, fucking UK military right there. Who, oh, is that one of our? Is that one of our? Uh, is that one of our UK? That's one of our UK fans. And hey, Campbell, ben. Campbell, Campbell is from Scotland. So we got the whole world up in here today. Oh, Campbell's from Scotland. That's dude. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, we like, got we got the Scottish in the in the house. Um, I'm being told right now. Yeah, that we just Buzz got. We just got year has an ass. We're gonna have. We're gonna have a nude scene in a, in a kids movie. We're gonna show. Oh, yeah, there it is. is, dude. Put that back up. Put that put picture that back, back up. up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that ass. Oh my god, that is like U. That is like some USDA grade A prime beef right there. Look at that. you know when he walks. When he walks, like all you see. All you see when he walks is just, you know, like, if he, you know, like when somebody's just got like nothing but ass, like it's just thick, thick, bro. Like, I'm fucking, you, that, was, that is fucking funny as hell. Um, that was, fucking, fucking, yeah. that was just two fucking sirloin steaks just hanging out on a dude's fucking ass right there. Just beautiful ass buzz so buzz Lightyear's ass oh. is going to be topic of conversation so i are you interested now no absolutely not <laughs> like, no fuck no no because no because i thought no because they gave the dude an ass no 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 you're, no dude, you're gonna have to entice me a lot more than that like now i'll tell you what I, i'll tell you what would entice me i'll tell you what would entice me because like we saw there were other like space rangers or whatever what are you doing space ranger I'm stuck. I'm stuck in my rocket ship, Buzz. Can you come help get me out? <laughs> that, that, I might watch that movie. I mean, I'm yeah, probably going to watch that movie about a year anyway when the, when the parodies come out, right? Like, yeah, but you know, but but do Disney give their characters penises, or is or is this like a Barbie and Ken thing? I I'm going to assume that he's be, being that he's an action figure. It's going to be a Barbie and Ken thing where there is. Uh, <laughs> He's uh, is androgynous uh, in the nether regions. You know what I mean? Like, speaking but, of which, there's a Barbie. There's a Barbie and Ken movie coming out. Yeah, what's her? Uh, Harley Quinn's gonna play uh, play Barbie, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, Ryan Gosling is going to be Ken. 
Ken, can you Ken, can you help me? I'm stuck in the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the in the Barbie Malibu Playhouse set. Ken, come, Ken, do you want to come play in the in the bar in the Barbie in the Barbie spa? You know, like yes. I know my sister. Play. My sister used to have the whole set, man, with the pool and all that shit. Mine did too. My see, like mine did. My sister, there was a a teenager that lived next to uh that lived next to where uh the house that i grew up in oh, and they got ready to move and, and they got they when they got ready to move this teenager gave my gave my little sister like her entire barbie set and it was like a fucking like i'm talking like trash bags full of like barbies and accessories and so my sister ended up growing up with like an ass ton of like barbie dolls like like more more than like you know your typical more than your typical girl even would have because she inherited this 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 teenage girl that lived next door to us she inherited her like barbie stash when that girl got ready to move so it was yeah like i, I vividly remember my 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 little sister having barbies like a lot so that's that's yeah i'm old days old days um what do we got um scary hey, like, I, I just want to let nikki larson know like God, I told you, God's not coming. Like, hey, dude, expect a self rescue. Okay, expect a self rescue. God, a, God's not. God ain't helping anybody here today. Okay, it's, it's, a, little, it's, a, little, it's a little late to the party. A little late to the party. Um, <laughs> what do we got here? Um, scariest video games of all time. Oh, we'll, we'll do the okay. characters first. Actually, okay, okay, okay. Character. Okay, I was gonna say it says. Okay, so yeah, what do we got here? We got so scariest video game. I got, okay, before, before we go into this list that somebody else made, John, like, do you have a, for you, for you, what was the scariest video game character in that you've played? The scariest played? video game character was Nemesis from Resident Evil. Okay, so it was, was so it was it was a horror movie that, and it was still yeah, it was a horror okay. game, and you know, as a kid, it, I mean, dude, let me tell you something. When you see he had, because I remember. Um, Oh no, 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 don't don't be sorry. Hey, can you pull that up? Nemesis from Resident Evil. Um, this guy, he had mm -hmm. like half a brain missing. He was disgusting looking, and he was so fucking hard to beat in this in in the Resident Evil games. No shit. Yeah. So, and we're talking the time when the Resident Evil games were coming up. They were, you know, they were doing much better. People were, you know, were just like, oh shit, Resident right. Evil. You know, this third one came out. Yep, there he is. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at yeah, yeah. He's good. Yeah, that's just a, a creepy looking. Can you imagine that dude like trying to bite your face off? Yeah, yeah. Like just, just grabbing you, just trying to take a little nibble out of your cheek. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a little creepy. That's yeah, a little, so, little creepy. So for me, playing that as a kid, you know. Yeah. I'm fucking free. I, I don't think I, I think after I, I don't think I ever beat that game. I think that was probably the last Resident Evil game that I was like so invested in. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I yeah, I, I don't know, man. Um Campbell. I'm, that looks like me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you you and a lot of other people, Campbell. Don't worry, don't feel bad about that, brother. Don't feel bad about that one bit. That's uh yeah. I did you know, honestly, um I was trying to think what, what mine was like while you were while you were describing because you're you're totally spot on with that. And I think this is where I'm going to have to, for the first time in a long time, I'm going to have to fall back on my typical standard casual gamer response because I didn't play enough video games that I don't even, I don't have one particular character even sticking out in my head. I've got, I've got characters that do scary shit. You know what I mean? Like that I can think of. I've got video games that I remember being kind of like mildly creeped out playing, you know, like, like Myst. Yeah. There's, there's a couple levels on Myst. Cause you're all by like you're all by yourself in the game. There's no other, there's no other characters in the game outside of like a couple of people you're looking for. So you you're like alone in this world. I remember kind of a couple of levels like they kind of look a little creepy, you know. So if you're playing at night and you're just walking through the world of mist by yourself, it'd be a little creepy, you know. But like yeah, like that character that you put you pulled up, that's that dude was creepy as shit. And I'm and now I'm struggling. I'm like, I I don't I don't even got one. I like I like uh. The very beginning of, of I think it's Doom Eternal when you're playing it, or 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 the or the two it's either Doom Eternal or the Doom 16 or the 2016 uh, reboot. Um, when you walk outside, there's like a fucking demon the size of a building walking, 
and you yes, look up and you're, yes, I remember. And you're just like, that was a really cool part in a video game. Like it wasn't, it wasn't that the character scared me. It was just like, can you imagine being this little, you know, six foot tall, you know, you know, bone mech, bone mech, exactly. you know, like with bone mech with meat armor, you know, human being and looking up at something the size of a building that is also moving and, you know, it's like a fucking demon and shit. Hey, Campbell. Hey, Campbell. Thanks for coming out, man. I love your name again, by the way. I love your name. So, yeah. Campbell, keep keep an eye out for me. We're gonna, we got to get you get on. The, we got to get you on the round table. Thank you for Scotland. Dude. Thank you. Yeah. Scotland Scott, for coming dude, I, by. Yeah, man. Anc ancestral roots. Ancestral roots in, in Scotland, man. I got to go there. Did I, ever did I ever tell you about a bar? There's a bar up there where it says, uh, like, no Campbell's. You know, and it's kind of like an old. Really? Joke. Yeah, it's a, it, it's it's tongue in cheek now, but it be, it's it stems. You're familiar with Game of Thrones, right? Yes. Okay, the Red Wedding, right? Of course. Okay, when George R. R. Martin wrote that scene in the books, the Red Wedding, when the Red Wedding was written in the books, he based it off of a historical happening that occurred in Scotland. And it was the Campbells and the McDonald's and the Campbells pulled a freaking juke move on the McDonald's. And they killed a bunch of people in their sleep, including women and children. And so to this day, there's this, there's this, um, there's a bar in, I'm going I'm to look it up right now. Cause I don't even poor, poor Joe on his first freaking day. Like there's no way he's going to look this up. We're, but, we're stressing them out. We're stressing yeah. Them we're going to be stressing them out. Give me one second. Yeah. Just get so what you know, I don't even watch game of Thrones. So whatever. So the sun, about, the, like, okay. So it's the, cl cl it's the cliche. It's the cliche in. It's in Glencoe, Lochaber, Highlands, Scotland. Okay, the the inn dates to the 16th century. That tells you how far back it goes. And there's yeah. it has a sign on its door that says "No hawkers, no hawkers or Campbells." And it's a it's a very it's a very dark reference to what the Campbells did when the Campbells uh, when the Cam when the Campbells kind of massacred a bunch of McDonalds uh, in the middle of the night in the dark of night. After after, after after the after the Campbells after the Campbells had let them into their let them into their home basically, so they let the McDonald's into their home and then killed them in the middle of the night like the like the psycho sons of bitches that they were right. So for a long time for a long time the Campbells the the the, the clan Campbell probably had a, a little bit of a stain on it, you know for uh for, for some actions occurred, you know what I mean? Okay, so, okay, so hold up. So Nikki says that you need to fire this guy who doesn't watch Game of Thrones seriously. Get the fuck out. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Are you uh -oh. gonna fire me too? Me and Nikki are me and me and Nikki are actually watching Game of Thrones right now. She's she's being for the uh, first time. It's me for, for me, yes. I've never watched really. It. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I read I read all the I read all the books on my first deployment, like all five books on, on my first deployment. And I wanted to see, I wanted to see, oh my God, John, yes, you're fired. I wanted to see certain scenes out of the books. I didn't necessarily need to see the whole series. And also because the books uh, aren't finished. So I was kind of waiting to see if George R. R. Martin was going to like keep writing, keep, keep up on the, on the series. And he didn't. So I kind of lost interest. And then I just never got around to watching the show. And then now, so now Nikki's like, Jay, you got to freaking, you got to freaking, you know, um, you got to watch this. Like you just, you just need to watch it. And I, and I, and I will freely admit so far from what we've seen, it's fucking phenomenal. You know what I mean? Like the first season, I think we're on the second season now. I think, no, we're not even on the second season yet. So the first season is fucking phenomenal so far. Yeah. So, but you know, it, you know yeah. so the Amazon show that's coming out for it, it's like a seek. Oh, it's like a prequel. It takes place like thousands of years before the show. Yeah. It's with the, uh, the Isn't it with like the Dothraki or whatever? Or, uh, or is it with the, uh, I think I, I, I'm not a hundred percent familiar. I'm not a hundred percent familiar with it, but the one thing I am familiar with is that it costs like $700 million. To what? Make a TV show? To make the show on the, on Amazon. Man, I wonder how many fucking poor people that could have fucking fed, huh? That's true. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, how would that be Halloween <laughs> trick or treat? Uh, acting like I give yeah. a fuck about that. Yeah, no, no, I actually do give a fuck about that, but whatever. Oh, like, so yeah, let's check out the scariest game characters, and then we'll get to scariest games. Holy shit, we're at 41 minutes already. Fuck me. Hey, man.
hey man, I'm not here for a long time, but I am here for a good time, bro. Yeah. You know? So we got Pigsy from Manhunt. Um, Manhunt caused a whole lot of controversy back when it was released due to its controversial subject matter. You controlled the supposedly deceased, deceased death row inmate called Cash who was forced to participate in a series of underground snuff films. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what? Hell yeah. Um, the game was noted for having three levels of executions. The longer you press the button, the more gruesome it would be. Pigsy was perhaps the most terrifying thing about this game. He was a hulking, mentally um, chainsaw-wielding psychopath who wore a pig's head and was kept chained up in Stark Weather's attic. Wee, 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 wee. Hell yeah. He, yeah, he's, he's, he's about to pull up the Pigsy. Oh! Yo, that, that reminds me. That hideous. reminds me of a. Uh, I saw. I saw Tool. I saw Tool in Tucson, Arizona, in two thousand and two, I think. And Tomahawk opened up for them. And Tomahawk is uh, Mike Patton. You know, like you know, like Faith No More. Yeah. You know, like that song Epic. Okay, that's Mike Patton. So his side project, Tomahawk, opened up for Tool, and the dude threw a fucking pig's head into the crowd, like a like a like a from the from the store like bots pig's head. He fucking threw it into the crowd, and the fucking crowd like fucking tore it to pieces, dude. It was fucking amazing. My fucking like, eyebrow is itchy. Yeah, and you want to scratch the shit out of it too, don't you, bro? Next, we got Adam the Clown from Dead Rising. Let's face it, clowns are terrifying enough at the best of times, as you would agree. Clowns are not scary. It's fucking fuck. Nope. Next. Nope. Next. That's no, a scary know. motherfucker, bro. What is? Why is everybody so fucking scared of clowns? Like, I've never understood that. Like, I grew up with fucking poltergeist. We're like a clown fucking, a fucking clown doll drags a kid underneath a bed and I'm not scared of clowns. Like, why is everybody so fucking scared of clowns? Main somebody right explain this. Somebody explain this shit to me. I don't, because I don't, I've never understood it. What is the fear of clowns? Don't well, in the, East, in the East Coast, most cl clowns are pedophiles. So that's, you know, that that's one, <laughs> you know, that that's, that's one. <laughs> God fucking damn. You well, know that well, but I guess that answered my question. <laughs> like shit. Like, well, like <laughs> moving on. Like, Demon, hold up. So Nikki says <laughs> demons are way scarier. I, I disagree. I trust also disagree. I, I also disagree. I completely disagree with that. I, I'm gonna have to disagree with demons. I was more scared of the Chuck E. Cheese mouse than a damn clown. Well, yeah, but see, yes, but see, that's a legit. That is a legit fear, though, because those animatronics back in the '80s and like early '90s, those animatronics were fucking scary, dude. Yeah, like they did, like they they had those like weird jerky fucking movement and shit, and then they fucking like look at you all of a fucking sudden, and you're, like, and you're like, and you're like, and you're like, and you're like five years, and you're like five years old trying to choke down pizza, and this fucking mouse just like fucking homed in on you, and it's a robot, you know, and you're like, what in the actual fuck is going on, you know? Like I don't even want to fucking I don't even want to use the rest of my tokens at this point. Eat I'm, your I'm pizza, already, like, you know. Eat your pizza or yeah. die. Yeah. Or die. <laughs> it's like I am the angel of death. <laughs> like now, <laughs> this is one thing I'm not. So the mainliners, um, they're pretty scary yet completely underrated game. You play the death row inmate called Torque, accused of murdering your wife and children. Although you have no recollection uh, recollection of the event. Due to having blacked out at the time, you are sent to Carne Island to await execution. Though there's suddenly a huge earthquake that somehow allows loads of monsters into the prison, your sole goal is to escape from the prison alive. So what makes them so what makes them scary again? Let me see. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, okay. They I mean, they, they, they look like mutants. Okay, yeah. No, I, I dude, I'm digging. I'm digging the fucking syringes on the back. That is kind of cool. I'm digging um, the fucking syringes, dude. That's kind of a, that's kind of a neat look. All the hypodermics so fucking sticking out of the back from, from a game called The Suffering. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's that's next? pretty cool. Siren Shabido. Shabido from si Siren. Okay. Uh, the Shabido were the main enemies of Blood Curse. They were essentially corpses brought by. Brought back by supernatural forces. Okay, so they're zombies. Okay. They're zombies. Yeah, let's see what these assholes look like. They sound like assholes, I'm not going to lie. The Shabido. 
It's gonna be. Up, 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 up. Oh damn! Look at that. A little bit. That's a little creepy. creepy. A little creepy. There you go. I like that. I always do. I always dig. You know, blood tears, man. Tears of blood. I'm always getting. I'm tears. getting like. Uh, what is that? The rig? Is it that what the thing from the rig look like? The ring. Uh, what the chick from the ring? Yeah, yeah. With because does she have like the eyes, the eye thing going on too? She no. I, I, didn't she have? She had the hair in front of her face. Yeah. She had the hair in front of her face. But like crying blood, dude. Crying blood is always. Uh, me and Nikki, uh, when I was in Kansas City last week, and we start. We didn't finish it, but we started watching uh, the Exorcist three. Which, by the way, for any of you like Exorcist fans, Exorcist three is actually more of a direct sequel to the original Exorcist than the Exorcist two was. So, Exorcist three is actually based on a book by the same guy who wrote the book the exorcist and so it's a it's a basically a direct sequel to the original exorcist and it's a really good movie it was nominated for best picture um there's a really cool scene at the beginning where like a fucking statue like fucking cries a tear of blood and it's all creepy as fuck it's like 1980s horror you know what i mean like real it's a real slow burn horror this is not a this is not a you know a jump scare movie you know this is like uh yeah dude that's fucking yeah exorcist oh dude that movie is so bad three. that movie is so badass dude that movie is Listen, so badass. I hate right. to shift it real quick, but I've stained my cigarette with my lipstick. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I wish I could I could say that's the first time in, I've I've heard that in my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh next no! one. Doom 3, the Sharubs. The Cherubs. Doom 3. Yeah, yeah. There, there's there's going to be there's going to be uh there's going to be freaking I was gonna say there had to be do some Doom characters in here because some of them look, some of them look just so demonic and scary. You know what I mean? Like the top half of this scary enemy has the top it was all baby yet instead of legs they have the makeup of a fly. Right, right. I remember playing Doom Three on uh, was it Dad? Ch Chance hey. Chance just said heartbreaking. Right. Is he saying? Is he talking about my 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 stained cigarette? Probably. <laughs> What's Morning. going on, Chance? So this so this is the sh the sheriff from Doom Three. Here you go, baby. Happy Halloween, baby. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, about the cigarette. That's right. <laughs> Wait, Happy Halloween, Wayne. Bye. Party on, Garth. Oh. Remember the movie? Okay, the smokers from Smoker Left, from left dead. dead. Go. No, you're you're right, Chance. I'm trying here. I'm trying. It breaks my heart too. We're trying. Gotta get gotta hit get that gum. So, um, have you played Left for Dead, Jay? No. Are you familiar? No, I, I, I that was I I'm I'm familiar with it. Yes, because yeah. I we we've had this conversation. I I tried to play the first one or two of them. Couldn't get into either one of them, and then basically, uh, no, no, Chancey hasn't. No, Pyramid Head isn't isn't on here yet. He's that's definitely a creepy character. There you go. You know what, John? Pyramid. I take back back earlier when we were talking about it. I'll give Pyramid Head. I remember playing because I do remember playing fucking Silent Hill, and Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head was a creepy character. So that going I, back I, to my earlier, I did I play. Pyramid yeah. Head is pretty fucking creepy. Yeah, that's I would be pretty. That creepy character is really fucking creepy. I completely would not be surprised if Pyramid Head shows up. Yeah, there he is, dude. Like there that, dude. Remember that part in that movie where he like fucking picks that chick up and like fucking rips her fucking skin off and shit, Christ. and just like throws it up against the fucking door. You know, like how fucking gnarly was that shit, dude? Yeah, and but, you know, and listen, a lot of people like they're not crazy about about the movie. I thought the movie was probably the best like horror game movie that ever came out. Ah, and as we're being told now, it's based off of yeah, a town. Yeah, Centralia. Yeah. yeah, it's based off of Centralia. It's a fucking coal mining town, and they accidentally set the fucking, they set the goddamn coal vein on fire it, underground. It's still burning to this day. Yeah, yeah. It's like this, this, this fire has been burning for 40 fucking years. Like, no, wait, excuse me. Back in the 1960s, that is 50 fucking years. Yeah, but, yeah. You know? I have a cross yeah. made of coal from the former mayor. Hey, that's really master. cool, man. We you got you got to show that to us. Oh, hey, dude, we should do some, dude, we should do some urban exploration, man. The yeah, only no problem, the only, 
The only problem in, around Centralia with urban exploration and the reason it's so dangerous is because when the coal burns underground, like these like heat vents open up and the ground becomes very fucking unstable. So you can like basically just drop into the fucking ground and die. And like the, there's no way to fucking like get to you. I think it was just a couple of years ago too that people just left, like completely. Oh, left. It, I think the last. This is one of those like Wikipedia pages I've like perused like over you know a couple times over the. I want to say yeah. the the no. last the, the last people left like probably in the 80s or 90s officially, and then there was a highway leading up to, it and they actually just covered up there the highway. There, there was a highway, yeah, the spray painted highway. That's it right there. They ju- they actually just covered this up. Really. It, so this little yeah, this little portion of the highway that everybody spray painted does not exist anymore. Because I I just read the I I just read the Wikipedia on that shit like freaking a couple weeks ago, maybe. This is That's, one of those like stupid fucking this is oh, where Jay wow. this is like the shit that Jay nerds out on right here. Like this is exactly the shit that I nerd out on. So yeah, yeah this is this is gonna be oh you, you, I just I just got a light bulb for a new for a new DD two fourteen show, the deep dive. The deep dive with Jay Campbell. Yeah. Hey, you're the history guy too. But that's pretty that's pretty crazy. Centralia is something else. People were getting injured on dirt bikes and quads. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and the and the ground the ground the ground is very uh, the ground is extremely unstable. You could literally if you hit the wrong patch at the wrong time, you could literally just drop into the ground and drop basically drop into the fucking coal shaft. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's a heat vent. That's right. There you go. There right. it is. So back to back to the characters. So Left for Dead. That, yeah, you know, no, we haven't seen we haven't seen the girl from Fear or or uh, Pyramid Head yet. Chance. Yeah. So the one thing about Left for Dead, I mean, and and it's cool that Left for Dead is being brought up right now because Back for Blood is coming is, out, right? Yep. Or is back, it out? Well, but back, out for, back for Blood is out. It's okay. it's okay. It's not a bad game, but it's coming under like some some things. There's the smoker right there from Left for Dead. Yep. Can't forget that. So that that see, mother see, that it's creepy. Look, it's creepy looking, but it's like, dude, that doesn't really do anything for me. Like, I'm I'm kind of limp, dude. Like, there's no swing going on here, dude. Like, I would just, I would literally just, I would literally just like grab a chainsaw or a baseball. Honestly, I tell you what, I really want is a baseball bat. I want to hit that motherfucker. Like, look at all those fucking tumors. Like, I just want to beat the fucking tumor out of you. Look at that. You know what I mean, look at that fucking like like you're just gross. Like that that's not that doesn't scare me. You're just gross looking. You know, like sorry, sorry, you're sorry. You, you know, you're you're not getting swiped a lot on Tinder, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're, you're just, like I, eh, it's not that scary to me. It's not that scary. It it really isn't. It's just not that scary. A blind like, woman from Fatal Frame Project Zero. Generally, there's nothing worse than a horror game. I I don't. I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with. A this. Of the, yeah, a lot of these games. I'm not. I'm not even familiar with. Yeah, so. well, except the horror games come out in Japan. Fatal Frame or Project Zero, as it was called, had the stereotypical haunted house setup with a twist. All the ghosts you encounter throughout the game could only be banished with a magical camera. The premise may sound absurd, but believe me, going into first person mode and having to get up close and personal with these ghosts was terrifying, petrifying, especially without a weapon. Oh yeah. Chance, uh, uh, Chance just gave us an assist uh, in the comment section. He said uh, the smoker isn't isn't himself scary. It's what he does. You, you'll, be, you'll be with your team and all of a sudden get dragged away by him out of nowhere. So that makes him a little bit more sense, Chance, and I appreciate it. Yeah. And, and, I, was, I was going to say by, by his look, I was just like, uh, okay. Like, yeah, like, now oh, now to add in, me. there's also, there's yeah, also like, a look- character in the Left 4 Dead series called the Wendigo. And the Wendigo, if you got close enough – like if you if you scared her or if you got mm-hmm. close to her, like if she you became part of the Wendigo's radar, the Wendigo would scream and attract all the other all the other nice. like yeah. So it's a very interesting creepy. character. Yeah, now there's something creepy. now there's something like that now in Back for Blood called the Screecher, which it comes up and it walks and it's like <laughs> and it does right. this scream fucking thing and like all these like all these like zombies start coming your way and you you know you can't kill the fucker so right right yeah look th- there it is uh that yeah i don't think they have a, a, a picture of the screecher but that thing okay go up go up again to the forearm lady thing the forearm lady thing <laughs> that, yeah yeah <coughs> Oh look, it's one of my ex-wives. Oh shit. 
<laughs> yeah, so I so show, show us the the blind lady. Oh, you just showed us the blind lady from Fatal Frame, right? Yeah. Yeah, there there she is. So I'm not again, I'm not I I've heard of Project Zero. I mean, the character herself looks creepy. Again, I'm getting like weird like Japanese horror vibes, which yeah, actually this game did, you know, I I don't you know. Okay. You're next. Next. <laughs> Necro Necromorphs from Dead Space. Um, we go. In space, no one can I hear like you scream name. except the Necromorphs. These guys were the enemies of the player in atmospheric horror Dead Space, which left me sleeping with the lights on for about a week. Necromorphs are reanimated corpses who have been reshaped by an extraterrestrial infection, and their sole purpose is to spread the infection. Fuck yeah. That's fucked up. I'm about it. Let's see what I'm this bad boy it. looks like. I'm about about it. Like, oh baby, here we go. Yeah, that thing is ugly. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, that's like, see, now that is a classy looking gentleman right there. That's a that's a guy I will take on a date right there. So he's got like two like T Rex arms and yeah. like branches for fucking. Yeah, and you like stab the shit, stab the absolute shit out of you while grab while also grabbing you. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Down. Absolutely down. Sign me up. Yep. Yeah, that, I'm, that's I'm, dig I'm digging these guys. I'm dig I'm digging these guys. Yeah. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm just I'm just straight up digging the look. Digging that's, the look. Dead space was definitely worth the list. Dead space was definitely a game that scared the shit out of me. Next. Yeah, the nemesis. The fucking nemesis. I there told you. Know. you. There you go. Called it. Yeah, the the, the the nemesis, dude. The, pff, do you remember the nemesis from Resident Evil? Dude, you could not beat that thing. There was there was no way in hell you were gonna beat that thing. Even on easy mode, you're just like fuck you. And I'm and I'm not gonna lie. I'm I dig I dig this guy's look too. It is creepy. It's just like he's he's, he's like, got like you. a flesh bane mask thing going on. Yeah, like, and, and, and and like I said, all I could think of was like those big ass teeth. You know, it's just like. Imagine that dude just coming up to you and just like just like starting to nibble nibble on your cheek a little bit, you know, just like I'm 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 you know, like he just this dude's just gonna take his time, you know. You can like you can like feel his breath, you know, like on your neck, you know, as he comes in to like nibble on your cheek a little bit. Yeah, so that was number two. So what's number one? What is number one? Who made number one? Pyramid Head. Motherfucking Pyramid. Chance called it, dude. Chance pyramid called head. it. Good job, Chance. Motherfucking Pyramid Head. This is a creepy... This is definitely a creepy-looking motherfucker. Like, definitely a creepy-looking motherfucker. Goddamn Pyramid Head. Fuck yeah. Oh, and by, and by the way, in case anybody's wondering, like, neither me or John... Neither me or John uh, really looked at this list at all before we did this. We kind of did this live, so... So we didn't. So we didn't like our, our reactions would be a little bit more, I guess, genuine. So to speak. That's a badass picture, dude. We're being yeah. told oh, Jay, that, your, that your erection is showing. Swing, swing, <laughs> swing, showing, dude. I, I mean, hey, pyramid head is dude. Like I, I like I like horror and I like a lot of uh, I like a lot of that stuff. You know, it just kind of like makes you makes you feel kind of funny. Like yeah, look at was that a dead space fucking oh <laughs> right in the middle of his fucking chest. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking... Oh. oh, it's not stopping. <laughs> that is fucking dope. Yo, that's badass, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, I love those things, dude. Oh, that is it, fucking cool. It, oh, in the face. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, we can't hear it. Sorry, Joe. No, we're good. Keep the keep the sound off on this. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You don't you don't need to have sound for this. This is just fucking this is just happy fun time. Oh just, all they're do all they're doing is just playing my porn, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> swing, swing, <laughs> so swing. <laughs> the itching is insane, yo. Are, are you are you gonna have to wear that all day? Are you gonna wear that all day? I'm I'm shooting for all fucking day, bro. You should, man. You should hand out candy like that, dude. You'd be like, <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be like the neighborhood, the neighborhood, like you know, vision. What is candy on Halloween without nightmares everlasting? 
I'm telling you, man. Oh, by the way, I wanted to I wanted to plug this shit, dude. So I picked this up at freaking Walmart of all places, but it's from the Stone Stone Brewing Company. But it's called Buena uh, Buena Vesa, and it's a salt and lime lager. This is actually really tasty. Um, I had never had it before last night, and I kind of like took a big chance on it because all I had was a twelve pack. Yeah, but I had I had I had one last night, and it was actually really tasty. And uh, I'm on my third and last one for for right now. So I think it's four what point four point of the four. season. Are you gonna go for for some pumpkin spice shit, bro? Fuck no. What the fuck, dude? Fuck, dude. Fuck no, dude. Like that, dude. That shit tastes okay. Like, like that shit tastes okay. Like fucking like once or twice a fucking year, bro. Okay, like, I, dude. I when like you ever a right time when that tastes good. I like. L- listen, listen, listen. I'm not shit talking anybody that that enjoys pumpkin spice or any of that stuff. That's not. That is not where I'm going with this. For me personally, um, I like chai tea. You know, chai latte. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I do. There, there. Are, but it's. It's not a drink I get all the time, you know, and, and I get it. The, the, you know, pumpkin spice is kind of a seasonal thing, kind of like eggnog, you know, like I do enjoy eggnog. So I'm, I'm, I'm every bit as guilty of enjoying something seasonally as anybody that drinks pumpkin spice. So again, I'm not shit talking anybody that enjoys pumpkin spice, but for me personally, for me personally, like, yeah, it's pumpkin spice. Like what, what, if I, if I, if I like pumpkin spice, I'll just get a fucking chai. And if I want a chai, it's it doesn't necessarily have to be a certain time of year for me to get chai. That's all I see it as. So, I, so that's that's, like it, like that. that's it. That's it. I don't like shit like um, that. I think it tastes crap. It tastes like crap. I'm not a tea guy. The only tea I like is drama tea. Drama tea. Yeah, drama, drama tea. So I want I want, I, I want to bring something up. So I had a guest last night. Um, my boy, you know, a mutual friend of of mine and Joe's, um, Jose, right? Okay. So he comes by, he's got this, his last name is like Vander, Vanderlint or something like that. Oh. Vanderlint? Vander something. Vanderlinder, I think. Okay. So he says, so he explains to me that Van, like Vander is, a, and, and um, hey, if you could look this up for me, you, um, so that we could pull it up to see how true it is. So Vander apparently stand. it's like it comes from Dutch and it stands for of the. So he's like he his name's Vanderlinder. And, you know, there's a, I'm pretty sure you for the Vanderbilts. Yeah. Vanderpumps, yeah, yeah. the Vanderpumps and all that stuff. So he explained to me that Vander is of the. Right. And like the rest of it. Right. It goes by it goes by where you were born. So apparently he was telling us a story that's that his father knew a guy with the last name Vander Bush. And it's just like, oh, you know, it was in the town, was the town called Bush? And he says, No, he was born in a bush. Oh, right. Or, you know, I was thinking, I mean, weren't technically like weren't all of us born from a bush? You know? Like you spend nine months fucking you spend like you spend fucking like you spend like nine months fucking trying to claw your way out, and then like you you spend the rest of your life trying to find your way back in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, like we were all kind of of the bush, right? So, I mean, okay, so what what crazy <laughs> variations of Vander can we come up with? I mean, I guess we're I guess we're all you? Vander. I guess we're all Vander pussy, right? Yeah, we all be like, uh, yeah, Vander Pussy for sure. I mean, like you're you would be John John Vander, John of the what? What are you, John of the what? John of the Jersey, John of like Vander Jersey, like, John Vander Jersey, John Jay, Vander Jersey, Jay Vander, Jay Vanderzona. Yeah, yeah, Jay Vanderzona. Yeah, yeah, oh, so Van, yeah. Vander Barber and oh, no, those are the variations. Vander Damien. I like that, Vander Damien. It's, it's so like interesting. Vander Damien. That. that sounds Van, cool. Vander Damien. Of course, Vander, of course you would. Vander Damien. So it, it's just it's so interesting to me to to hear about things like this because when I hear Vander, I just think of like because it just sounds like such an evil fucking name, you know? Like the Vanderbilts. So I don't know. I don't. I have no idea where I'm getting at. I just thought it was funny. It sounded like the you Swedish know. chef from the Muppets. Oh, Vander Barber. Vander Barber. 
<laughs> if you read those variations like as fast as you can, it, it'll sound like the Swedish chef from uh, the Muppets. The bird or dinder in der jader jader slater tonder under. That was our producer, Joe. Like, Fuck yeah, Joe. That's why we hired you, dude. Right there. That shit right there. That's fucking perfect. Yeah, can you That's go perfect. down? Because it says the popularity. Yeah. Vander, okay, Vander is an unusual first name for men, but very prominent surname for both adults and children. Vander reached its highest rank of 1,167 in the U.S. in the 1880s. But it is not found in the list of the moment. So I... <laughs> Fuck yeah, Nikki. Fuck yeah, Nikki. Exactly. Tell me that wasn't fucking hilarious. So, <laughs> and, okay. Joe, Joe, so, Joe, Joe, Nikki just rehired there, you. <laughs> are there funny, funniest Vander last names out there? What, baby? Vander Panocha. Vander Pussy. I like Vander Pussy a lot. I thought that was a really good one. No, it's so like, it just sounds so like. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, I got I got some I got something here. Hold up. Oh, do you? Do you know? Uh, people with offensive last names. Fuck yeah. Uh, those of us with offensive last names are here and will not be silenced. Kyle Me Dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, Natalie Weiner. Ben Schmuck. So I know shit. I went to fucking. I went to L. Or not, born. I went to uh, middle school with a guy, and his name was was Mike Hunt. Oh, I shit you not. I can't make this up. I played fucking. I played fucking. I played fucking little league baseball with this kid, dude. I played little league baseball with this kid. Like Mike no shit. Hunt. Mike Hunt. It's funny because, like, you know, you grow up and you, and you come up with these like funny names for for oh, you know make fun of people. You like, wanna, dude, and you want to talk about some completely fucking even crazier? Uh, I knew personally knew about five different Brian Williams in the same fucking in the same city. Like, I grew up like one of my best friends growing up is a Brian Williams. I played little league baseball with a Brian Williams who went to a different high school than I did. I met a freaking we had a Brian Williams come to. Uh, was played basketball for the University of Arizona, right? And freak, I didn't know him personally. I shouldn't say that. You know what I mean? But like, and then I knew, like, I met over the years. I met like two more Brian Williams uh, when I was a young adult. Isn't Brian uh, Williams the name of a news anchor too? Yeah, he's also yeah. That, that that's a, also a, the name <laughs> of a famous. I don't. Well, like, I I actually have a very common name. Believe it or not, like if you're you not the to, only one. Yeah. If you treat, dude, you if you if you Google, there you he Google, is. If you do a Google search on Jason Campbell, like my like my given my given first name and my 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 last name, Jason, Cam there's about 18 bajillion Jason Campbells out there. I mean, it's like good like good fucking luck, dude, because there's like a million of us out there. Yeah, I actually every time I every time like I, a, I get a job, there's a quarterback for the fucking Redskins. Yeah, there you go. Or not, Jason not Campbell, name. holy shit. Yeah, like that's like there's a bajillion Jason Campbells out there, like. Like I have a, I have an extremely common name. I'm moving a lot. Like there's a there, oh, yeah. there's a, there, there's a reason I started going by J. Look at all these assholes. They, like these guys just look like assholes. Every single one of those guys, asshole, asshole. That dude's an asshole. That guy's an asshole riding on his fucking horse. Fuck him. More horses. Fuck that cop. Some old fuck. He's an asshole. Fuck yeah, him. Every time every time I get a, every time I get like a new job or something like that. <laughs> I always, I always do this. Um, I always do like the background check, and it takes like three weeks for the background check to come back because my name, my full name, is one probably one of the most common names, right? Ever, right. Right. Jonathan Ray Sanchez. What is this? Right. Look, what you got? What did you can find? you put? Can you put that back up? Put that back up. What was that? What was that bullshit? Jason Campbell obituary, and they nice. put. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I died. I died, bro. No, I walked on your grave. That's intense. Wait, that's his obituary picture? Can, can you go? I need a better obituary picture. That was that Jason Campbell. I want to be my, I want to be this 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 multiverse version of Jason Campbell. Are you putting it on now, honey? Why are you putting it on now? 
Okay, come here. You're going to look beautiful. Here. It's gone. It's okay. It's okay. He's vision. Oh, baby. Yeah. So while while we're come, we got we're down to like our last uh, our last bit. Um, since we're talking, since it's Halloween, yeah, death. I you know we oh there it is. There's that picture. What the hell? That's his obituary picture. What is that? How did this get like this? I don't know, but look at that picture. Yeah, with all the balloons coming out of his face. Can you can you zoom in on that picture? Is there a way to? Oh my gosh, that's so weird. What Dad. in the world? Right now, I look like I'm in college with a boy. Because... Come here. That's okay. Yeah, just pull that out. I I can't like it. Just looks like it's like balloons on top of balloons. I don't know. I don't know. Here. But yeah, so. And it could be in the stocking. It looks like balloons inside of more balloons. Oh shit! Try not to try to cook them. You gotta be slow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta be slow with this. You gotta be real slow with this. Yeah. So what? Now, come on. So I need to know what kind of culture you were living in growing up before we, because we're coming into the end of the show. So I need to know what things were you doing on mischief night? Just like when I was growing up in Arizona? Yeah. Okay. Um, eight, we egged houses. We, we teepeed. Um, bag snatching wasn't really much of a thing because of how spread bag out snatching. it is. Yeah, you know, like when you like steal, steal like trick-or-treat bags, you know? From oh, kids. okay, okay. Bag snatching, bag snatching wasn't as much of a problem – in the neighborhood I grew up in at all. So like that really wasn't a thing. Never had to really worry about that. Um, so I, I mostly remember just egging and egging. No, there wasn't like, no, like it was Arizona in Arizona in the, in the mid to late eighties, specifically Tucson where I grew up. I can only speak for Tucson. Uh, it was very suburban. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like it was kind of, it was very suburban. Like the neighborhood I grew up in was probably 20 years old at the time. So like it had had a previous owner, at least one previous owner before my parents, probably in the neighborhood, in the house that I grew up in. And then we ended up staying in that neighborhood until I was out of high school. So that was the neighborhood I grew up in. And it was really cool because if you, if you timed it just right, if you went trick or treating like right as the sun was going down and you pretty much ran house to house every house you could hit pretty much my entire neighborhood in the night in one night and by doing so you would come away with a fucking massive haul of candy so I, do, I do remember i do remember being very fortunate like just in the neighborhood i lived in like the neighborhood i grew up in we would just fucking haul ass up and down each side of this of all these streets and about eight eight thirty about the time you know trick or treating time is winding down anyways we'd be hitting our last couple houses and be walking home with these just goddamn you know pillowcases full of fucking candy you know what i mean like it was really cool it was really neat i was very fortunate i was very fortunate to grow up kind of like in, a, in an environment like that uh where i, got, I really i got to experience trick or treating as a kid you know what i mean like yeah really cool it's really cool you know it's interesting so. too cuz back in the day you really had like this like different type of perspective like like um like it said here it was a different trick-or-treating was way different back in the day i mean i remember i remember seeing i remember growing up just seeing buttloads of kids out in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and you know last year you know during during the pandemic um you know some of us some of us, you know, here in the neighborhood, it actually was pretty packed outside last year, right? Yeah. There were a lot of kids out last year. You know, they didn't say they were like, no, you're not taking away Halloween from us. You right. know, it's the one day of the year where kids get to be whoever the hell they want to be freely. Right. So right. it was good to see that. And I hope that the turnout for today's Halloween is just as good, if not better, because, you know, it, it's for the kids, man. You know, yeah. Well, this, this is actually, it, it, well, I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no. Good. 
Well, um, I was, I was, this is going to be one of the, is actually going to be one of the first years I actually get to trick or treat with my kids. Like we were, it would have been, it would have kind of been last year. It would have been like kind of last year, but then coronavirus happened and we did, we did make it to a couple of, excuse me, trunk or treats last year. But as far as like the actual, like walking around like house to house, kind of like trick or treating, like this will be kind of like our first year. That's being that's able to do really, it, man. So like that's, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. Like, and it'll, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. So. Yeah. I, yeah. We're being told now people use pipes to slide candy to kids. Yeah. I saw, I actually saw yeah, that. I, I that. Came, came yeah. up on my Facebook as like a memory thing too, where, you know, just, to, just for the safety, I mean, and you know, obviously for, for all of those, um, you know, for the parents, obviously there's always, there's always a worry. Um, just know, no one is going to put marijuana candy in your kids' bags. Oh, fuck no. Fuck yeah, no. Th- like, you know, yeah, the danger is there, but we've, who's, who's going to give away free no. weed like that? It, no. Yeah. No. Shit costs too much. I'm not wasting, I'm not, I'm not wasting it on fucking kids. Like, what are they going to do with it? Like nothing. Like, no, <laughs> like they're not going to, no, no. No. Yeah, you know, so I mean, there's always been every, like, this, this, every single year in the news. Watch for, you know, like like we saw in the in the in the production chat there, uh, razor blades in the apples. Um, you yeah. know, that, yeah. Now, like, in like, my like, lifetime, in my lifetime, I have never once had a contaminated candy. Nope. A piece, a weapon in my candy. I've never nope. gotten my mouth cut up. I'm not, and that's not to say it's never happened to anybody else before. No, you know? no, 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 no. We're not, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not saying. And, and, and that's what, and that's, I remember like the number one thing was when you got home from trick or treating when I was a kid, the first thing we did, me, my sister, whatever, was you, you got home, you sat down in the, in the living room. You dumped you dumped your entire bag. You dumped your entire bag out onto the floor, and you start sorting through and you start sorting through candy, you know. And if there's any, if 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 a wrapper is like slightly torn on one, you toss it out. You know what I mean? Mm. You keep sorting, and if it, if anything looks suspect, you toss it out. And like what you don't toss out, that's your haul. And we do that every year. That was like a normal thing to do. It's like you sort through your candy. You look. You yeah, look and even it, and even and, if, and even if there was nothing wrong with the candy, just if the you know, like it says right there, like if the can if the wrapper looks a bit manipulated, then yeah, you know. Yeah, you just throw it out. That's it. You you sort through your own candy. Like that's it. It's not. This is not rocket science. And then and then the nightmares come. What's your favorite Halloween candy? My favorite Halloween candy. Oh God. Uh Man, I don't know. I, uh, I mean, candy. I mean, candy's candy. So, I, you know, I mean, what, what, like, what constitutes a Halloween candy? Like, I, I, I don't. Uh, uh, milk duds. That's just like asking me. That's just like asking me what my regular, like, my favorite candy is, though. So, like, it'd be like, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, no. Okay, look, I have to disagree I mean, with that because I really feel like Halloween candy is different than regular candy. I mean, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me let me let me swing let me swing this let me swing this like sw- slightly sideways because it's kind of like a seasonal candy candy corn for some reason in for some reason everybody's like hating on candy corn these days I love like, candy I, corn. I do too I grew up on that shit but apparently dude, like it's like bags of that shit dude apparent dude apparent apparently it's like a thing to like hate candy corn nowadays everybody thinks it's like it's like the things it's like the most like trash same with uh, circus peanuts. Do you like circus peanuts? I fucking love circus peanuts. Apparently, it's fucking cool to hate on circus peanuts now. Like I'm telling you, like I'm telling you, that's freaking. That's that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, it, my it, well, my favorite one is the Tootsie Roll flavors. The uh-huh. flavor Tootsie Rolls is like vanilla, orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, are yeah. my. I could you know. There's some can. I, I love and candy. That's some, but, and that's some. Sh- you know what? That's some shit you only. Another one is bomb. That's right. That's about. That's about. That's some shit you kind of only do see around Halloween. And you know what? That's that would probably be on my list. Is like the flavored Tootsie Rolls. That's probably on my list of like favorite Halloween candy. Go find me a fucking bag today. Watch, dude. You want to know the shitty part? Like I can't really do a lot of taffy anymore. Because I've got like why? Because I've well because I've had so much dental work done. Like I've got crowns and shit. But it's like if you want crown, dude. If you want crowns to last, dude. Like as long as they're supposed to last, like. Taffy's not taffy's not what you really want on the menu unless unless you literally just like put it in your mouth and just like 
suck on it basically like a, like a hard candy until yeah. it's gone. But as far as like the chewing with taffy with like no uh-uh. shit, uh-uh. that's crazy. Like, yeah, you'll feel. Yeah, I do too. I you I should say I used to, but yeah, it's like oh, you'll, baby. You'll, yeah, you'll pull, you'll pull, you'll pull your fucking, you'll pull fucking fillings out of your mouth. That yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Can't, now look, they also got the harvest mix for the for the candy corn now too. They got the yeah oh, the pumpkin the pumpkin. You know what? What's the uh the strawberry the strawberry uh candy where it, like it looks like a freaking stra- the wrapper is a strawberry. Yeah. Oh, the, it's like a it's like the old grandma candy, right? Yeah, I like that. I like them shits. I like I like the fuck out of those. Yeah, those those are good. Those are good as fuck. Those. those I love that shit, dude. I could eat that dude, shit. For I call it. I call that. Day. I call that grandma's candy, dude. Oh, if I baby, there it is. If they, if they all, said, look at all that candy, bro. If if they said if they said you can only have one candy for the rest of your life and you have to pick it now, I would pick that fucking like strawberry shit, like because I know I would fucking like it for the rest of my life. Like it, it would never get old. You know what I mean? All right. So uh, before we. Change what I'm gonna do. Right now I look like cars girls on their cars. Since I have my back here and my back and my back. Okay. Wait, what are you what are you these girls wear clothes on their hair? They do whatever they want. You guys are crazy. My grandma gave us those and they were so gross. <laughs> See? There you go. No, there I don't you know. go. Those those red candies were I thought they were really fucking good. I I did too. I, I liked it. Like Nikki, yeah, Nikki's not Nikki's not a huge fan of uh of some of those. So, honey, do that, baby. Yes, you do. Get a get a plate, please. So, so yeah. So now we're coming here at the end of our at the end of our show right now. But before we get to the final thought, we gotta let you guys know real quick. Check out the www.linktree.com slash DD214Gaming. All of our links are there. YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, um, Discord, Facebook, uh, the social medias, everything. It's all there. Check it out today. Like, subscribe, share. Tell all your friends. Don't tell your friends. Tell your friends how much we suck or how awesome we are or whatever. It don't matter. Do you guys want to see you colors suck. today? Do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see colors today? Do you want to taste them? Do you want to feel them? Well, use <laughs> code DD two fourteen gaming on for ten percent off your next Rogue Energy order. That's right. This one that I'm holding in my hand is 175 milligrams of caffeine. No, it is not the 300 milligrams that's going to make your heart burst like we spoke about last week. <laughs> You're going to taste colors and see sounds, ladies and gentlemen. It'll get you all the way from the East Coast to the Midwest in one shot. Too <laughs> easy. Too and, if you, easy. And, if, and, and listen, we got we got testimony right here, okay? Testimony. From New Jersey to Kansas City on three on a several three hundred milligrams on fucking rogue energy. This shit is she this took, shit. She took ten years off of her life, but by God, they made it on that road trip. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. Also, guys, check out Blaze Eight Online for your Delta Eight CBD hemp products. They got toothpaste. Uh, rose blunts um edibles gummies topicals whatever you know De- delta you know guys remember we're talking about delta athc not delta nine it is legal in most states accepted by many uh especially if you're a veteran an athlete someone who's going through the motions with your body delta eight delta eight could be the answer for you if nothing else is working for you so check out blaze eight online new jersey.com Absolutely. Um, who is it this week? I think it's you. I want to say it's you. Is it well, you? Well, it's let's you. Just, well, let's do it, guys. Halloween weekend, guys. We got fa- we got families, you know, who are you know families. Who, lots of families are going to be together today. This is this is a, a a family weekend, a family holiday. You know, people are having parties. People are, are you know, taking their families out and stuff like that. But today is the day 
to go out there with your kids, your, your partner, and you know, get some candy, have a good time, be the person that you want to be today, and you know, stay in character, have fun, smile. But in saying that, there's you know, a lot of people who don't want to go outside, you know, who can't who can't take being around a lot of people who you know, if they go trick or treating, you know, with their family, maybe they get some candy, come home, but they look at the candy, they just stare at it because, you know, maybe they just they, they can't do it. They just can't do it today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're having any type of trouble, if you're going through, if you need someone to talk to or if you need someone to text 1-800-273-8255. 1-800-273-TALK it is the National Suicide Hotline. You can call at any time of the day, middle of the night, first thing in the morning when the sun is up. If the sun is coming to crash on earth, they are there for you. They're, they're there to take your call, your message. They're, they're there for a reason. They are volunteering, working there to help you. You know, if, you know, sometimes we know, I know, sometimes I know, especially me, it's hard to call some of your closest friends when you're going through it. Call somebody. If, if it's hard for you to talk to your friends, maybe you feel a certain way about it, call the hotline. Someone is always there today, tomorrow, yesterday. Guys, you know, this was fun. Halloween. I truly hope that you guys have a safe and fun time today. Wayne's World, Vision, Wolf Bane, you know, I, I appreciate I appreciate your help. You know, this is you know, this is um this is a big help for, for us, and I appreciate you coming on, man. Jay, as always, you're the fucking man. You know, we, we get we got we got this done, you know, every single week. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty crazy that now we're on season two, episode 31 on October 31st. Yep. Um, see, season three is coming, guys, pretty soon, right before the end of the year. Yep. Ex exciting things are coming. So many exciting things are coming. You, yeah. you got anything else? I was, I was just going to say, yeah, like uh, season three, season three is, is definitely fast approaching. So in the in the coming weeks for anybody that keeps up with us at all, we'll be doing some some minor like tweaks and, and changes here and there just to kind of like see what works and what doesn't here and there. So be be prepared, and then yeah, sometime around the uh, the holiday season, we will be starting season three and kind of uh, taking off taking off in that uh, that next direction. Basically, looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and for everybody that came by today from Missouri to Scotland, Texas, seriously, dude, the, the UK, awesome. you guys came man. through today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, baby, for doing my makeup. I appreciate it. You did so, you did a fucking a hell of a job. I look great. Uh, Jay, you look fucking great. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Party time. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah. Um, see you guys next fucking week for another episode of the DD214 gaming podcast episode 32 next week have a good week everybody be excellent to each other